Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for spending your valuable time with the ADAPT 2030 channel. Extreme weather ripping through the eastern part of the United States. Strange atmospheric flows. Earth's global electric circuit back on fire. Blue jets visible. Long duration. A glimpse into electric geology. Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Officials telling the citizens don't use too much natural gas, although we sit on one of the world's largest reserves. What's going on there? Spelling in the sky. Oh, oh my. Top three states targeted for cargo theft. Blast from the past, 1819. I wonder why we never experimented further with using sails in addition to propeller driven marine traffic. And we're going to start off here, weather warning. This frontal boundary with the almost circular shape, the amount of electrical activity streaming right down in my neck of the woods through Tennessee down into Georgia is going to send ferocious amounts of hail, lightning, tornadoes all through these areas. So for the next three days in the beginning of March, if you're in areas where you see color, keep your eyes to the skies. And as I was looking for different vegetables to put into my garden and buy the seeds right now for spring planting, throw this at your next trivia party. Broccoli didn't occur naturally. Humans bred it from wild mustard. And it spilled over into cornucopia of cabbage, Brussels sprouts, corlabi, kale, broccoli, and cauliflower. All great things to plant as food prices will rise through the rest of the year. Let's talk about growing flowers and a moment of zen for this crazy world. Flowers can also be medicines, tinctures. You want to think this direction also in addition to what you eat. You can grow it all. But when times get tough, people turn to crime. It's been like that for thousands and thousands, plural, of years. This is nothing new. But the cargo thefts are starting to spike. Just like we saw in Venezuela and other nations, Zimbabwe in the beginning. Individuals are going to target a good that they know is inside a vehicle. Number one commodity for cargo theft, household goods. That's really easy to resell. Electronics, number two. And then food and beverage commodities. Watch this through the year. That food and beverage commodities is going to take over into the number two or the number one position by the end of 2023. Low lows of collagen show up in more ways than one, although sagging skin and wrinkles are the most common that come to mind. It's well known that collagen levels can decrease by up to a shocking 10% every decade after the age of 30. One of the quickest ways to help combat low levels of collagen is to supplement a high quality collagen supplement. And there may not be a better choice than health with adapt2030.com. Look and feel your best this upcoming spring and summer season. Take 51% off your order. It includes some free bonuses, free VIP health coaching before the half off sale ends. Go to healthwithadapt2030.com. Remember you have 60 days to change your mind if you do. That link's in the description box below. That's healthwithadapt2030.com. And now on with the video. And if you're living in any one of these three states, California, Texas, or Florida, that represents 46% of all theft, nearly half. And also keep in mind, parking lots on the left side there are the areas where this would happen. Smash and grab thieves, you know what it's like at Christmas time, also stolen vehicles. And we're moving back to the Wild West. Security is going to be a concern of your own moving forward as well as preparing, repairing, growing. This is just the world we're moving into. As you can see, the plays have already been forecast out. It's almost like watching a sports game and you can read the other team's plays that they're going to use or execute. We already know the digital rationing cards and food shortages are going to come in conjunction with central bank digital currency. That's a given. That's talked about at all these types of meetings. That is the plan. And then from there, it will pivot again. At least you know you're going through this phase right now. But the world's money club has decided, crush the economy, derail transportation and goods, movement of services, 
as well as product. Everything needs to stop. Mom and pop business wiped out, knocked out at the knees. Now we're going to go for the full disruption across box stores, so get ready for it. You'll have access to food, but you're going to have to go through hoops and hurdles and be that lion jumping through a fire hoop to get it. Are you ready? That's what I was talking about the earlier things. You think you can grow some of your own foods and grow some of your own flowers that have been used through antiquity for the simple things. Check out what willow bark can do. And speaking of price rises, wholesale price for natural gas in the West, that includes California, 3x higher just a year later compared to January 2022. And then imagine you get a bill in the mail and you just think, okay, my natural gas bill will be $300, which is absurd anyway to think that your gas bill would be that high. But then you open it as $907. I what? So then you have to think about what's your backup to this? If it does become prohibitive for the cost each month, then what's your backup? And then what's the backup to the backup? So you're going to need to think three levels deep moving forward. Something's going to get non-available or too expensive. You're going to get priced out demand destruction, you're going to move to something else and then to something else. So is the rest of the world. It's going to smooth and move like a school of fish. Let's stay on the gas here. Kazakh officials, that's Kazakhstan, urging the citizens to conserve gas as imports become necessary. Now, this is America 2.0 here. Kazakhstan sits on some of the largest natural gas reserves in the world, and a huge amount of the Caspian Sea Basin is theirs. Yet, they need to import natural gas. The Kazakhstan state-owned natural gas company vowed there will be no more shortages like there were in 2022, even though they have some of the world's largest gas reserves proven. And here's where it comes down to it again. Consumers must in the future also do their share in helping avoid crunches at peak times of demand, meaning you're being curtailed on your usage, pure and simple. Anybody failing to do so, stiff bills. If you thought 900 bucks was expensive, you see nothing yet on the penalty of overusage. Look at this plan right here. This is the worldwide plan. It's just being rolled out in a massive gas-rich country first to see if they can do it. Now imagine going to a non-resource-rich country and implementing the same. The irony of Kazakhstan's reliance on imports they're sitting on 3.8 trillion cubic meters, or at least 100 years of usage. And that would be expanding economic activity as well. Yet they have to rely on imports. So here's where you the bold at the bottom here. This is where it gets a little, you can already see the plays broadcast across what we are going to experience globally. This is forced rationing here. We want to introduce a social minimum threshold. If it's a household or if it's an individual housing unit, if the baseline bits of equipment are cookers and gas stoves and boilers and heaters and things, we can calculate the standard consumption. Everything else above that is excess consumption. This is exactly what has been talked about ad nauseum for the last two to three years on, you're gonna go to a, a 15 minute city and we're going to control all of your inputs here. It's already started in a gas rich nation. Unbelievable. So get ready coming to a shore near you. Oh, speaking of shores, here's the Caspian Sea Basin. Kazakhstan owns a lion's share of that along with oil. Although there's an enormous amount of sulfur in it. That's why there's a discount for the heavy sour crude. But what's also so interesting about Kazakhstan, it is old world as can be. Silk Road going way back. These are plasma petroglyphs. So this is 12,500 years prior minimum at the Younger Dryas era. Tomgale Gorge. I'd like to go see that. I'm sure that there are more than just one rock face covered in this. And yes, at different locations as well, witnessing plasma displays in the skies. Bayan Jurek. The world's seen this before, the world's going to see it again. And Earth's electric circuit just lit up. Signs in the skies, blue jets would be one of them as the outbound current flow. And once you know where these are, you can follow them down to ground level and look at disturbed weather patterns and crop losses. Goes together like peanut butter and jelly. Speaking of peanut butter and jelly in grade school spelling class, 
Oh, 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 is what I see in the sky. Maybe an I. I owe you. Awesome. You owe me a new planet. We'll start with that. But I'll be happy with melted ancient ruins in Kazakhstan to start. These bricks. What were they built on top of that was a previous cultural layer? Should be the question. You're going to hear more and more about Kazakhstan moving forward. The through fare of pipelines coming and supplying Russia, as well as moving through Kyrgyzstan to China. This is the new BRICS economy unfolding here. They are going to develop Kazakhstan, and that huge amount of resources is going to be shared between Russia and China, and look who sits in the middle. Kazakhstan will become the new gold rush town, for a better term. It is going to be the new gold rush country. Now, speaking of seas, Caspian Sea... This old 1819 painting, S.S. Savannah. Excellent image here, lithograph. I've always wondered why. You know, they were able to combine these two different propulsion systems of using motor, as you obviously can see the, the smoke coming out of the central smokestack right in the center there of the vessel, but also using sails as well. And for me, you know, I understand container ships couldn't use this. But I've always wondered why an enormous amount of vessels transited the ocean never have used the combined output of sails and motor. And how much fuel would we save globally if we had gone from this? That's 1819. That's, you know, 200 plus years ago. The amount of fuel savings and maritime oils are really heavy and dirty anyway. So I'm still baffled as Electrogravitics hasn't moved forward with all the Tesla patents in the early 1900s, late 1800s, and nothing like these propulsion dual systems from 200 years ago would move forward either. I think we are being played on a metered system for your life. Imagine sailing across the oceans in this increased water vapor, one month loop, because it seems like the linchpin and the central pivot is food. Your access to it things you will do to get it and when they pull the plug on the availability of foods you're going to go on to a new system no questions asked everybody needs to eat every day and even if you fast one day you're going to be eating the next day which is why you want to think about growing your own food true leaf market heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on the planet that links in the description box anything you purchase there helps the adapt 2030 channel stay on air and join us Thursday night, 10 p.m. to midnight. Ransom Godwin and myself go through these same issues two hours at a time. We're streaming live on Rumble, the Mini Ice Age Conversations podcast channel, Mountain High Time on YouTube, and Straight Off Revolution Radio. Hope you can join us there. I do thank you for watching. Hope you got something out of the video, and I'll see you next time.